I'm going to be walking you through setting up and using ASI Cap with your ZWO 3.0 imaging camera. Some things you should need to know uh, before you can actually start using this camera is, is you're going to need to have a compatible device for Android that supports the OTG feature. So a quick overview of what uh, ASI Cap is, is it's basically an Android app that was developed to allow you to control your ZWO camera settings via your smartphone or tablet. So this here is a OTG cable. Uh, if you notice, this is the uh, one side that would plug into the, ca the cable over there for your ZWO camera. The other side has the micro USB that plugs into your Android or tablet charger port. This here is something you might need, something like this. This is actually a USB power hub. Um, basically, it will allow uh, you to use your ZWO camera, but another type of source that's going to provide power um, will basically provide power for that hub that will power your uh, ZWO camera with your cell phone. Um, but that's what this is right here. So you're going to need to take a OTG cable like this and then you would connect it into uh, this part here would go into the other end of this plug here and you would just connect them both together like that. And then this part here goes into your ZWO camera. And then this part here would go into your uh, Android tablet or cell phone. It would look something like this here is normally where your charger port uh, goes into and that's where this would go. All right, so I've gone ahead and connected uh, the OTG cable with the uh, ZWO camera, and now it is connected to my cell phone, and I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through some of the features that the ASI cap has. Uh, hopefully, if your camera is detected, you should see it in the select cam selection there. As you can see, ZWO ASI 120MC dash s and what you need to do is press the preview button and take in mind this video could be outdated um by the way this right here i'm not even going to put a check mark in that box i'm just going to go ahead and tap the ok button on the message box there and the app will go ahead and load as you can see there there's nothing on the screen there because i actually have my cap over the fisheye lens so I'm going to need to go ahead and take that off before we can get a view of what's up so there you go you can see me there uh, on the cell phone screen there and you see I'm moving my finger there to show you that it's live and you can see here on on the app here there's a different types of uh, settings you have your exposure you have your gain offset um, WBB, uh, WBR, and uh, a bunch of other things here, uh, like your temperature for the camera, or what the f-stop is. Um, you've got uh, your share button. You've got a thumbnail uh, icon, which basically will allow you to look at the pictures you have on your um, on your cell phone or tablet. But this here is the sh is the share icon. It allow you to share whatever images you have taken. Uh, with the actual uh, camera and then you have this here which is your image gallery it's basically the gallery with your like your your uh, pictures or videos that you've captured um, and then this arrow button here is uh, basically where you can go in to change whether you want to do photos or whether you want to do videos as well as your resolutions that you can set uh, to record or take pictures in uh, this button here is to record or to take pictures with if you wanted to take pictures or video with depending on what mode you set it to that's what you would um, pick and then this one here I believe is the ROI I have no idea what that means but you can look it up um, the other one up there I don't want to touch but anyways um, you can see here, I was going to show you again, these are the different resolutions that you can pick from. And, um, you know, you can pick from uh, the, the max resolution that your camera can use for uh, both video and uh, pictures. So you can see the f-stop up there as well as the temperature. And uh, let's see what else we have here. So uh, this one here, um, 
I don't want to touch that one because uh, last time it just made my screen black on my phone and I couldn't get the uh, capture to come back up. So anyways, that's uh that's what that's what uh that is. Um so I do have a problem with my USB port on my cell phone by the way, which is why my screen is frozen right there. But uh Anyways, um, you can't see it too well, but the glare right there is the exposure as well as you can see the gain as well. I'm not too sure what the offset means, but all you do is just tap on the screen on which one you want to want to adjust. And then this slider here, which with the uh, up and down arrows, you just hold your finger down on it and then push up or down. And that will increase the gain or lower the gain. And you do that as well with the other uh, settings as well. So if you wanted to increase the exposure or lower the exposure, that is um, what you would do uh, to increase the exposure or lower the exposure or increase the gain or lower the gain so that you can do uh, basically deeper um, space objects that are more faint to see. So the cog up here um, has a... A bunch of different settings for like setting your uh, image format, your video format, audio input. Like if you want to play music, I guess I didn't know what that how to use that, but I didn't mess with it. But you have your basic and your advanced tab, and I'll show you them both. So you have JPG. Uh, you can have the image format for JPG fits, JPG plus fits, and uh, then we have video format for MP4, RAW, MP4 plus RAW. The audio, I'm not too sure what audio input is. I guess you could maybe load music um, that's on your phone or something like that. Uh, then we have e, uh, the exposure unit for milliseconds. I'm not sure what the other one is. And the other one is for seconds. Um, and that's the advanced tab right there. Yeah, we have the color space for, what is that, RAW. And also RAW 16, as well as our binning for our binning one, binning two. We have a uh, hardware bin and uh, what is this high speed, I guess it's for your camera. And then you, you have your USB limit. And uh, I'm not too sure what this bottom one is here, but some other uh, settings that are on the um, app as well. So real quick, I want to show you the share icon. This is basically the share icon. You would tap on that and then it would take you to the folder to choose a file you want to share. Tap on the image or video and then you can send it to a direct message on Twitter or tweet it on Twitter. You send it in an email to Gmail or upload it to, to the um, the Google Drive. You send it to Facebook, uh, Instagram and uh, you know a text message or Snapchat whatever app that you use to like talk to people with you could probably use it to share through there. Um, then you have the image gallery, which is this icon. It's basically allows you to go in here, choose a file and then look at it um, to see what it looks like. And uh, you'll be able to preview it. This one is just a black screen. I have no idea how that happened, but it's just a, a blank image. But that's how you would view that through that little um, icon there. And then as I had showed you, this one here puts the ROI and I have no idea what that is but if you look that up or you know what that means uh, then you already have that figured out. Uh, I never did figure out how to use the ROI so feel free to leave it in the comments if you know. And then there's, there's your uh, exposure as I was unable to show you before because of the glare um, and um, it allows you to take your finger and just uh, put it on there and then you could press down on there and you could slide this up and down to increase the exposure and gain. It looks like it can go up pretty high for the exposure and gain. So you might be able to get some long exposures, I would assume, if you have a good tracking mount to allow you to take longer exposures. Anyways, that's it, guys. Hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it has, hit the like button. If you haven't become a subscriber to this YouTube channel, become a subscriber today. And thank you for watching.